Hi there, viewers and gamers alike out there, and welcome back for more of WWE 2K22 of the My Rise storyline. So here we go, episode 20, um, that was 28, this is 29, so yeah, episode 29. So, um, being Intercontinental Championship in a way per se, so yeah. So, yeah, look what Scrap Daddy AP has to say. He says, I have an annoying favor to ask. Cesar is demanding a WWE Intercontinental Championship match and threatening to walk out unless it happens. Honestly, I don't have the bandwidth right now. I'll do it. Rude and annoying. I'll set up the match. I'll retain and shut Cesar up. You know, I'll go with the Falls Count anywhere. Let's make sure Cesaro knows who's champ and doesn't make this a habit. Let's have a falls count anywhere. Being general manager is hard. So, yes. And now this time you get to see members, more members of Schism. If you would like to know. So this time... Heads up. The following contest is a Falls Count Anywhere match and is for the WWE Intercontinental Championship. So, yes, I mean, well, Cesaro now going by the name of, Cla name of Claudio Castagnoli on All Elite Wrestling as a, a member of the Black of the Blackpool Club with Dan Brian Danielson, as I recall. And just to let everyone know, I will try to refurbish every, all the characters uh, that I've created. I mean, those like in-ring per se, but not the finishers and submissions guys, the along with the here. ground and, and the like, how do I say this? Uh, title defense uh, uh, apron or whatnot, like others how to put in. So I am going to be planning on doing that in a way per se, so that way... There'll be more room to add into that favor, the so it won't be a problem. Looking to cement himself as one of the best of this era with a big win tonight. I mean, you'll have if you go to my rise storylines such as this, uh, you're gonna have to custom create in a way that you have to remember. So that's how it is. Now go by the name of Claudio Castagnoli on All Elite Wrestling. Cesaro is the strongest man in all of WWE. They should never release uh, uh, Cesaro, or should I say Claudio Castagnoli. I mean, he has much of that talent to give to those. I'm like, that would be great. And... And now, I mean, I he's got release. I mean, he's not underrated, to be honest. I mean, he he's actually truly talented as a wrestler. You can expect a classic. Cesaro looks to be in a bad mood here tonight, and I'm sure he is ready to take it out in the ring. He's actually in a great mood when it comes to wrestling. I mean would love it because I would love to see him win some a title such as big as this like from Lucerne Switzerland weighing in at 232 pounds Cesaro and introducing the champion from Chicago Illinois weighing in at 295 pounds he is the WWE Intercontinental Champion, the Urban Gladiator, Leonardo. Who's going to lay claim to the workhorse title? So, here? yeah, you can see Tenkaya Togami and Cure Twilight and Simon, and they're trying to convince. Oh, guess what? what and now, now you see Cure Twinkle, like, just seeing this, how he becomes. 
the full progress of a champion in a way like usually Tenka Yatogami is listening but I know she knows that she's kind of having doubts for the rest of Schism but you know usually however Schism would take no for an answer against Toka Yatogami I mean Tenka Yatogami I was about to say Toka it's Tenka because the, the reason why she became a member of the new corporate ministry in such a way Yes. No visions this time. No visions this time. No, not nothing. But oh! wow, that was an angle slam. This could be an opportunity. Wow. High powered side slam. I can't do nothing. I can't do nothing. I can't do nothing. Now I can do something. And that's gonna jam Cesaro's offense. Oh! To call himself the King of Swing is really makes him worthy of the name, the King of Swing. A bad place to be for the challenger. I was pumped when I saw this match on tonight's card, but so far this Falls Count Anywhere match has exceeded all of my expectations. Oh, by the way, Falls Count Anywhere, and it doesn't have to be in said ring. I mean, who knew? Which I knew in a Falls Count Anywhere. Here comes the pump handle vertical suplex power pop. Don't bounce Out of the off. Ring. What's his plan here? Remember, oh falls count anywhere. I can do no wrong. Cannot get counted out. Cannot get disqualified. Talk here. Look at this now, draping his opponent over the announce desk. Here comes the attitude adjustment. It's too late for help. There's only mayhem and destruction from here on. And the champ There you have it. Falls count anywhere. Swiss Superman just met his mortal weakness tonight. Well, at least it's not kryptonite. But he is absolutely pretty good, to be honest. You know, I'm never going to get tired of Cesaro, who now goes by the name of Claudio Castagnoli, who now resides in all elite wrestling. 
Yeah, being general manager is hard. Impressive and decisive WWE Intercontinental Championship defense from Leonardo. And rumor has it a victory that won some goodwill backstage too. Jinder Mahal, really? This guy? All right, propose a qualifying match. Fighting champions still make their opponents earn their opp opportunities. Tell you what, beat me in a non-title match first and I'll give you a championship match. Fighting words from a fighting champion. Here comes Jinder Mahal, the guy who, may, who, who attacks the peninsula south of the equator. So, yeah, I mean, Cure Twilight. I mean, they're, they're talking about trying to get into the head mindset of Tenka Yatogami. But usually Tenka Yatogami, I would say she will join or in a way. I mean, but the thing is... I think her stubbornness outweighs the rest of Schism's uh, like mindset per se. I'm not saying those who are weak-minded, such as those are members of Schism. No, no, no. I mean, I'm just saying that her stubbornness would kind of outweighs from their from their wants and or needs because. Since she has that kind of obsession or has that love of that love interest to, such as uh, such as Gino, I would say this would actually makes it work best. But I, she knows she's kind of outnumbered in in several to one. This is a guy who always seeks out the highest level of competition, and I think he'll get it tonight. Or, or should I say, more more than several to one, and she knows. Uh, and she knows she does not have a lot of time and she knows that time is running out for her because if she refuses to accept by joining schism she will be tossed aside the out of the Maharaja. future in a way to not to have uh, Jonathan and Gino to be in part of the reign and to kill off Goku Black in a and way per se to change Punjab, the future India, while the rest of the men of the Nagumos, or should I say, well, let's say Hajime Nagumo will be killed off and then the rest of those who are the, the, the men of the so-called Nagumos will become the servants or call in the, the court, court gestures. One of the hardest working superstars today. Just look at his body. Well, no one will ever accuse Jinder Mahal of being the most popular superstar in WWE. But indeed, his work ethic and accomplishments have been exceptional. Byron, there are 1.3 billion people in India who worship the ground that Mahal walks on. Not me, because he's always a coward. Nobody likes a nobody likes a coward who tries to take to try to cheat their way in, especially when it comes to using the Bollywood boys. He's been through ups and downs, but has never given Well, I mean, they were in NXT and on from back then into WWE, and then all of a sudden they got released. And now he has uh, and now he has a new group called Indusheer by said Jinder Mahal. So he's kind of more like a, playing a part of a general manager role of that faction, per se. Usually, Schism actually knows, these women of Schism know that I will never bow down such as the one such as Jinder Mahal because he is not the worthy opponent. He though he may look strong, but he will do any way to go underhanded tactics when it comes to when a referee is not looking and try to go attacking the peninsula south of the equator. And when I mean attacking the peninsula south of the equator, uh, you don't want to know what I mean because it's not it's not in my position to say that out loud because I will not say it. If you know what it is, I'd rather not because it's not appropriate. It's very inappropriate. 
Side set on the top rope. Really? Boom. Yeah, get bl block that. Block that if you could. Oh, you couldn't because it's a Claymore. Military press. Holy moly. Slam. You realize what happens. You get up and see, feeling the power of a deadlift into a military press. And then there's a slam plus the DDT that you just felt a moment ago. I can lower your health. Spot. Has a storm <laughs> <laughs> Bro, kick. Why didn't you see that coming, huh? Shifts it back up. Oh! Watch the quickness on this. Oh! oh no, you don't. No, no, no. You're not going for that cervical clutch. Oh! I saw it and I was slow. I was so slow. Now I saw it. Yeah, block that. So you like the cervical clutch. That Veer Mahan would do. Swing. Here comes the Chino escape. Here it comes. Top out loser. I guess you wouldn't be able to get yourself into a powerful submission move as a finisher such as the such as the Gargano escape. This one was about as lopsided as they come. Yeah, like I would say he was not worthy of my time to be honest. Not worthy of my time when it comes to a match such as this, and then all of a sudden I'm able to pull it off. You better believe it. So, if a superstar doesn't have the strength required to lift a bigger opponent, the move will be replaced by a different move, which doesn't require lifting. Fighting words of a fighting champion. Lucky break. <laughs> and guess what Shinsuke Nakamura wants a shot at me alright the king of strong style would love to try this so you know what submission match making I would love to see him try. So, like I said, I mean, Tenka Yatogami knows that she doesn't have a lot of time, but is there going to be such hope for the, such a matter because Schism is surrounding her, and you, and then you and you, and Tenka can see my character would love to would love to be into the mix, but doesn't want to, of course. Pure Twilight would love nothing more than to tell me about what did she actually say to Jonathan in the first place and what it means that she says, I can be more, you you know that title, you, I know you carry a top more than one title, but there are times that you can be more than just being a fighting champion by not just carrying a title or not having one at all with you or carried one to it. Just moments away. The way she saw about that future when Jonathan, who is formerly known as the Lock back then, is like, this is actually getting Cure Twilight and the others fired up in a way, per se. Along with Shadow Glitter Lucky. 
As far as title defenses go, this is about as big as it gets. He needs to be on his game tonight. Oh, I am bringing my A game, don't you worry. Being Intercontinental Champion and all. Count out. Introducing the challenger from Kyoto, Japan. Weighing in at 220 pounds, he is the artist known as Shinsuke Nakamura! The King of Strong Style. And introducing the champion from Chicago, Illinois, weighing in at 295 pounds. He is the WWE Intercontinental Champion, the Urban Gladiator, Leonardo! Tonight continues the tradition of the highly coveted Intercontinental Championship. Its holder is frequently considered by many as the hardest working champion in all of sports entertainment. The WWE Intercontinental title on the line, perhaps a new chapter. Remember, a submission only. This match history. cannot be won by pinfall. This, the is, the the pinfall. Match, this is a submission match, not a not a regular the match. The title has been a major milestone in some Hall of Fame careers, and well, it could be just that again here tonight. How many kicks and as kicks as you as can as do? As, as many as you want. I mean, what 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 brings you stopping there? Doesn't work! Quick as a cat, just like that. That was a thing of beauty. Oh, look at this. German suplex. And not done yet. Another German. I thought you wanted to go to Suplex City. I guess Suplex City is not enough for you. As good as ever so far, though. He's been able to rotating oh! holds at this point in the match. Perched up top. Nice try. Here comes the Camara Flex. Gonna be looking for the trifecta. There's two. Still holding on. There it is. The Camara Flex is complete. This is what happens when it's called the Camaraplex, and then I, I first took you to Suplex City, then the Camaraplex, and also I would love to try out the three amigos. Kick to the gut. The setup. Up and lifting double underhook face buster. Things should be at a tipping point here. It's tough to resist tapping out when you're hurting. Slam! You've been slammed to the floor like really bad. Oof. Look at this beautiful, expertly executed combination of strikes and some kicks to follow. How many strikes to one superstar? As many as you want, per se. Really? You really need to learn how to see that coming. Got hit, genius. Here it comes. There's the Piper's pit. The challenger's hopes are slipping away. Might want to walk it off or shake it off or do whatever he needs to do to get his head in the game here. Shinsuke's strong style will still give him a chance in this match. Yeah, but not a very good chance. Oh, my. 
Inflicting pain at will. <laughs> Some serious damage. Oh, counters that. Uh -uh. Moves just in time. Oh, no. No. No, no you don't. Ah! Raging demon. This again. Ah! Submission. The official asking. Oh man. Quick as a cat, just like that. That was a thing of beauty. Oh, come on. Wow, that did not work. That did not work. need to stop doing that. Across the shoulders, knee right to the face. Short recovery when it comes to this. That. Oh, what a kick. Not done yet. Gonna take a trip. The keys. Too close to the ropes. I really need to get away. Going straight to hell's gate. And going straight to hell. Nakamura now looking so tough now. He may lose this thing. Uh, for some reason, he's going to break free. Just not enough damage. This mission could be very significant. Your DDT. Ah, too far away. Get him away from the ropes. 
Don't go near the ropes! Don't go near the ropes! Don't go near the ropes! I really hate it when this happens! He's looking completely lost as he finds his footing. Finally! Here comes the STF! Top out loser! If this was Extreme Rules, uh, going to the ropes is not going to really force a break. Back. Yeah, what a major win for him here. As cutting as Nakamura's knee strikes can be, they just weren't sharp enough tonight. That's pretty surprising. When it's really surprising when it comes to that, it just goes to show you I really need to make it delicate work but i would say shinsuke nakamura is a one tough cookie and competitor oh that was hard that was hard to be honest but i say that match was worth it that match was worth it yeah Look at that, Lindsay Dorado. Okay, let's do it. I'm proposing a qualifying match. Do it, Lindsay Dorado. Would love to see this. You try to get uh, like to. Okay, this will be the last match. You want? You went to try to defend your title. Then, as someone goes for trying to defeat you for a qualifying match and you have to defend your title to retain it and then guess what another one for another qualifying match so yeah i am capable in seeing what's it's gonna happen next i'm not saying i don't lindsay dorado in action here what's there to say about the golden links corey my sources tell me lindsay dorado almost didn't make it here tonight so Lindsay Dorado is now in All Elite Wrestling because I know I, I kind of saw him on television on all AEW. So usually I would say the Lucha Dragons should ne uh, uh, Lucha House Party, which is more like it, should never have been released. I can see why the how uh, that uh, some one or higher management higher management don't like luchadors very much except for Rey Mysterio which I find it very interesting when this type of investigation wow Lindsay Dorado needs to figure this out yeah Dorado needs to reassert himself back in this match Uh, a military press slam. Hanging tough, but beginning to show some wear and tear. Might want to think about picking up the pace a bit. Oh! Fires back. Wow, he's really good. Estio! I saw that. Oh, what a counter. Oh. Springboard. Field splash. You gotta be kidding me. Amazing move there. Ouch, he's been cut. Oh. Now Lynch is looking for some momentum. Ah, uh -uh, no, no, no. I'll give you credit. You, let's say Dorado's really. Ow! He switches it back around. Uh. Oh! You took too long. I don't get. Land. 
connected with that. Oh, strong impact. Wow, how is it not? And here comes the clover leaf. That does not make sense when you land and then get hit yourself. Wow! I never knew how Lindsay Dorado was this close tapping out. Wow, that's impressive. Ow! No! Really, that was really good. Looking to inflict even more damage right here. F10! Ow! Can they go on the attack? Really gotta learn not to do that. Oh! Ow! Gah! I'm up. Watch out. Misses. How you missed me by three inches and you couldn't get me? Really? Wow, you missed me by three inches. I'm not, too, I'm not disappointed. It's just that was impressive. Spirit bomb. It's time to go straight into Hell's Gate! Hell's Gate! You tapped out on Hell's Gate. This is what you get when you have complete confidence and control of the situation. That was really impressive. Oh, a so yeah, I mean, usually how would Gino become a luchador in his own right, like his brother Jonathan? You know, it would actually work in a way, per se, because what happens during the My Rise storyline of the Lock and the Legacy... Fighting words for a fighting champion. And there you have it. Lucky break. And I would say... And I would say this will be a great stopping point from here on out. <laughs> and we are going to continue to pick up from where we left off. And thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, favorite, and subscribe. And tell me what do you guys think of a WWE 2K22 of the My Rise storyline. As your main owner and founder of this entire channel who likes to take chances making mistakes and getting messy. I'll give you credit. Shinsuke Nakamura really had me there. And that was, I got to really be prepared for what comes next. <laughs> really need to prepare for what comes next. As your main owner and founder of this entire channel who likes to take chances, making mistakes, and getting messy, who likes peanut butter and chocolate and her breakfast for dinner, Godspeed, play safe, and shalom. Just remember to fight with honor, love, truth, and justice. I'll see you guys next time on episode 30 because... I would say the storyline is a little longer than Karai, so, but like I said, at the same time, friendship is magic for everyone, so, uh, The Fiend, take it away with your laughter. Let me in. Let me in.